I woke up and I had breakfast. It's a new day today. Sunny went on me. Basically, she's just here to start off the day. I'm so happy. I am now working with Sheen. So Sheen, um, on a monthly basis. I don't want to say on a monthly basis because then now the next thing they're gonna stop sending me stuff and then mustn't young buzuti upere le monthly basis. But she, I'm working with Sheen, and ever since the beginning of the year, they've been sending me products and. I didn't do January though because I missed the post dates at corner, so I started working with the campaign in Feb. So you guys would have now seen my um, my haul on TikTok and Instagram. I did the first one for TikTok and for Instagram. So I'm working with Sheen where they send me stuff and then I obviously then take content. So that's what I have to do. I have items from Sheen. Got the guys leave and build a tripod. You remember that I'm re-recording now, so my hand is a bit painful. That's why I'm moving around so i have stuff that i need to show you guys from Shein. i think this one i'm just gonna do for youtube and then i have another parcel on the i have two parcels on the way and i'll do those ones for my other socials but i'll specifically do this one for youtube so my total and i'll be gonna get into a sheen guys this is what the package came looking like oh i think it gives a little tomb on my armpit. I've never had one before, but it is so painful. Let's get into the first item. Item number one. Item number one is a bag. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't have like a nude bag. Oh, she's upgrading. It comes in this bag protective bag and this is what the bag looks like oh it's a gold bag it's not a neat bag it's a gold bag it's so cute it's a cutie it looks it looks proper like it looks expensive it doesn't it looks really 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 nice this is what she looks like she is gold this is what she looks like on the inside and then there's a belt for it so you can make it a string bag if you wish love it mm, and it smells really good it smells it smells new <laughs> the gold i like the fact that it's not like a strong gold i like that next item you're gonna get into the clothing Love it. It's giving Mamma Fundis. It's giving a part of Amanda Vash. Who says, Your criminal Amanda Vash? Go away, part. No cambarash. Evangeline. I love it. I love the fit. I love the color. I love the pleats. 10 out of 10 for me. The next item, the next item is this dress. It is a. Oh, uh, we are going to get promoted from Umpatsura Dabash to Umamun Fundis. We are going to get Mamun Fundis. I love the color. I love the length. I love how it, it hugs my body. Hey, hey, it's steps about the rush, it is. Some of them for this. See that? I can learn again. He guessed. It's not doing. He's a cool room. No Sunday school. Slash, nay, you danger. Nay, you tea, a sun man. It's a Sunday again. It be new. Go ballet a book with that. Who's sweet, many you think that? 
I love I love this dress. I love this haul. So far everything has been so impressive. I love how it fits my body. Guys, I've went from being an extra small to being small. After having a baby, I'm now a small. But I'm so happy with how my body is recovering. I am body <laughs> so got number of the next item I don't know I think it's a two piece oh no it's a jersey like dress do you feel like she is a bit big but it's not a train smash I jump easy she's still wearable I think I'm still gonna wear her Getting ready for winter, looking good in winter. It is currently still very hot in Durban, so I don't think I'm going to be wearing her anytime soon. Unless if it's like like a rainy day, but I know she was saying what was going to come in handy in winter. I love the detailing um, on the arms. I love also the detailing on the chest area. She cute. Pair up with a nice necklace. She eating. She eating. She? love the color it's not necessarily white it's it's cream white with this hair with a beat with a nice pair of black heels eight eight to get some eight the next item is a coat but i'm getting ready for winter <laughs> oh it's so huge it's, i think it's like long fur coat. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh, she is. Huge. This is what she looks like. I get. I call Kaza. I call shoes. I'm tall. What's on tall? La. What's on the mean? I'm very cool this winter. I'm very cool look at this winter. Ooh. The length. The length is what I'm obsessed with. This is exactly what I wanted in terms of length. Love her. I love her. I love her. The length? I cannot wait to rock this with a body glove, jumpsuit, and this. Oh, you are not a person. Get the healing. Get the in. What? I haven't it. I could have lived. When it comes to brands and opportunities, I'm gonna go say is at work. I'm gonna go some seven I am so grateful. But what I was basically talking about is I one thing I am very serious about is the childhood my daughter is going to have. I'm very intentional about what childhood L is going to be exposed to simply because I feel like Yazi, yeah, the adults that we are, are a result of the kids we were, are a result of the influences we were, we had as kids, are a result of the traumas that we had as kids. Whatever kid you mold, whatever what the environment, the people that the child is exposed to, the situation, the the type of mother, the type of father, those are what makes the adults. So adults that are emotionally unavailable or probably kids that were unloved as kids or they they never felt the love or they were abandoned or the mother was absent or the father was absent kids who are like people pleasers are kids that never attention never had attention when they were growing when they were young are kids that were bullied are kids that were called names so manji as adults they feel that they need to people please so that they can be liked so that they can fit in so that they can prove themselves to be worthy so in short the environment in Ghani, the childhood young man is high highly impacts the adulthood and the type of adult that child is going to be so 
obviously I'm in my therapy goal era. I did tell you guys that this year I'm attending therapy and like it's serious. It's very serious. It's very, very serious. So so part of therapy obviously comes the journey of getting to know yourself. Why am I like this? Um why do I react this way? Why did I why am did I find myself in such in certain situations? Therapy comes with getting to know yourself more than whatever else we yell. More than anything else, therapy is a journey of self. So I was I'm I'm in I'm discovering why I'm the way I am. And one of my traits, now if you know me, you will know. Oh my hand is so painful. You will know. I, I am probably the most content person I myself have ever met. Mna, I am so content. To a point where... How do I put this? It has some of the opportunities that I have lost. Some of the opportunities that have passed me are because of how content I am. And some people just can't take my level of being content. Mna, guys, you will never find me going the extra mile to make someone else like me you will never you will give me you will never i am so okay with not being liked i am so i have a solid understanding of not everyone is gonna like you and it's okay and that is because i was talking to my therapist to say, is it wrong because i seem to be offending a lot of people a lot of people seem to we seem to be rubbing off wrongly where they think i don't care or where they think we are Kenya, or where they think she's too self-centered, or where they think, um, I'm, I just seem to be triggering a lot of people by the, by being okay with them not liking me. And now it's a thing of, now, Uguti, when I'm tired, is being projected to me, Uguti, namangi phone because one or two are And then I'm Uguti, but is that what I'm here for? Am I supposed to be? Is it my job to make you like me? Is it my job to do, go the extra mile for you to... No, it's not. It is... And I am okay with you not like... Maybe I don't feel it because I don't care that you don't like me. You know? So, I was obviously having a job... A, 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 um, why am I saying a job? I was having a conversation with my therapist. And he's like, now that stems from being validated when you were young it seems from being listened to when you were young it, it seems from being loved when you were young now i grew up in a home where if there's one thing i never lacked was love if there's one thing i never lacked was being listened to if there's one thing i never lacked was being assured so i'm a very assured human being and now i with that say being said i have to understand that it's not everyone who grew up being loved it's not everyone who grew up being assured so sometimes people feel intimidated and think what's well, the problem is you and think that there's something wrong with you because why is why are you not bothered about the fact that i don't seem to like you why why are you so not bothered for example at work I'm not at work i could not be bothered that who and who does not like me i will get to work and i will do what i have to do and i will do it great and i will leave and that's the one thing i care about is right it's the difference between right and wrong you will always find me doing the right thing whether i want sometimes i don't want to do the right thing sometimes i want to be vicious i come sometimes i'm in, I'm in positions where i could be vicious i could be spiteful but because i think unembeza and my character I'm a very, if it's right, then you have to do the right thing. If it's wrong and you know it's wrong, why are you doing the wrong thing? So now I'm a very right or wrong person. So I mean, I'll always do what I have to do. I will never do um, what I don't have to do just to convince you to like me. I am too okay with not being liked. Young police, I you guys the people that are supposed to love you, love you. The people that are meant to love you, love you without you trying without you begging without you proving yourself without you earning love is not earned i don't think love is earned i don't think love is, is earned. i don't think anyone should do anything to be loved i think people should love you for who you are people should accept you for who you are yo guys we put a lot of pressure 
on people sitinese is lemaza tina futi and in that pressure saying a bonu futi there's something wrong with you for expecting that from another person you are unhealed you have your own traumas that you are projecting to other people there's something wrong with you for thinking like that there's something wrong with you for what when you say you say you go to bed no 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 bed was one about busy was one about busy and this thing of people are so quick to feel not guys i don't know what would make me think about another person doesn't like me I don't know. Like you'd probably have to come deliberately to my face and tell me that I don't like you for me to believe because why are you that invested in my life that you have time not to be liking me? You, I don't just wake up not liking people. So why would someone wake up and just not like yeah, oh, but I mean I I obviously think differently. Drop it down below if you relate to what I'm saying to the level of content that I'm in where anything and everything is okay. I don't feel entitled to people's love. The same way I don't feel like I should go out of my er- my way to earn love. I don't think love is earned. I think respect is earned, but love? No. Nah. So that's one thing I really want my daughter to take away. But also it's a journey that you will be isolated, you will trigger a lot of people, you will come across as very uh <laughs> I'm a little bit too bold. Now if I don't like something, sweetie, you will know I don't like something. It's either black or it's white. It's e- because of my A type personality and then as a cool emshabedo, you meet people that are B type personalities, you meet people that are C type personalities and people can't take the A type person. People can't take someone who's very honest. So people can't people are threatened. You come across as rude. You come across as and it's not a th- it's, I'm not rude. I'm just telling you that one or two and go appreciate. For example, in friendships, you will know that babe, friend, I don't like it when you do this because it makes me feel like this and like this. Or you will not know because you will do it and I will see the red flag and I will remove myself. If I don't find the relation worth it, then you'll just never hear from me again. But if I find the relation worth it, you will you will hear. You will I will tell you. And then some people are triggered by that because they were they couldn't voice out themselves when they were young they grew up in homes where you couldn't voice out anything into most which early we also which really not a lot of question so the minute they meet someone who questions and who questions with authority now i will i will tell you what i don't like with an expectation that we're going to have a conversation about it and my long say yeah long say i i also want to hear why are you doing what you're doing i will always have room for let's work on it but if you're saying it's a fault i will not compromise myself although compromise my values and I'll, and because it is a suta when we both need to be in a space where we meet each other halfway and we both compromise if there's no comprehension that means i need to i, I won't bend to make you comfortable so a lot of people didn't take that as oh my god like there's something wrong with you like why are you like this why are you so Why are you so vocal? And these are not the words they use. They not they don't use the word vocal. They, like you 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 disrespectful. Your guys when I'm content. Nah, I am okay. But I am okay. And that's one thing I want my daughter to inherit. I also want her to be ready though for the journey of isolation that if you're going to be so content, well I'm going to make sure that I pour into her so much that she knows She knows that love comes naturally. If it's not there, don't force people to love you. Don't force people to approve you. You don't need their validation. You don't need it. It's either the piece. It's either somebody likes you or they don't. It's either somebody loves you or they don't. You don't need to bend and fold. Do the right thing. Do your part. What is not your part? What they talk, what they think, what they wa boke lok. Ya bona ke lok when I do your part. Hey stars, good ones there. Uh, how you guys? I hope you guys are good. This is a start to something new. Um, yo my engi kulegi seni my en. Um, this season of my life is called new. <laughs> um, I obviously don't want to talk about it yet. I don't want to jinx it. But lang puma ko na guys. Okay, first of all, go hambe guys. And if we're not taking it all the way through, this could be a start to so something not new, but pela, not so new, but also very new because I didn't think. Okay, it's not something new, but I didn't think I'd venture to this direction. I'm excited, 
but I also feel like guys like I go survival mode to give God. Guys like I go survival mode. I am fighting for my life. I everything is just gaminza. Okay to the ear and get quillisa. I'm fighting for my life. So this move was literally a save my life type of move. <laughs> Guys. I don't even know what to see Gapy Never vlog honestly but you know what I want to get home and I want to show you guys this thing, the things that I got from Take A Lot and then we'll probably close the vlog there because I feel like Kunini Live Vlog it red Kunini I need to start a new one now I can I can but yeah I can't all the way through I'm at the ball now just to get a few stuff I need to get my baby some food oh I want to show you guys my necklace okay son lele lani I need to put my own to give me to get a new one I mean I'm just thinking of being a corporate hide and give me my balls in honestly at this point I'm just thinking corporate hey you will not find me there. Like the corporates. It has started to rain. Petrol. Petrol. I'm gonna put some music on and then go home and do some work. Gibbon in his tongue was in cleansing your yummy. My daughter, my daughter. I'm gonna see my baby, my baby. I'm gonna see my daughter. I'm gonna see my baby. I'm gonna see my baby. Oh! Oh, figure in drink. Let me look at the FM. I'm gonna pass my music on. I'm gonna pass my music on. And be good. Good morning, good morning, Sam. Hope you guys are good and I hope you like it. Okay, so I got a few stuff. Take a lot. It's not a lot, it's just products that I'm gonna quickly show you. I got a ghost bond for installing my wigs. I'm trying this skin therapy oil, it's like a face oil. It's winter now. When I fix up early winter, so my skin is starting to be very dry. So I'm adding more oil into my skincare routine. I am trying this nice cinnamide. Um, Skin Republic Serum I've never tried my cinnamide before But I'm very excited to try it out And then I've got a tissue oil This is the tissue oil that I used um, I think in like the first trimester of my pregnancy So I just got that And then I've got tissue butter for my baby girl I don't know why But if I got it in a different plastic I actually thought I was buying the bigger one um, the bigger one that she has, Ngaitenga Azele, and it's only running out now, and she's like, wow, it's almost six months, so it lasted for over six months. So I thought I was buying the bigger one, only to find out that, well, my see figure manage that it's the small one. Excuse me. So yeah, Shea Butter works wonders for my child. This is what it looks like inside. So she has eczema prone skin. So she does the job for us. 